We don't have open debates. We've got $11 trillion debt. We've got corporate bailouts and the USSR-style auction coming. Both presidential candidates voted to fund the war, voted to extend the Patriot Act, voted for sanctions on Iran. They're both pro-Israel. There's not a damn difference between Obama, Bush, and McCain other than the titles and the tribalism. The Democrats expanded the Iraq war when they got in power. They didn't do a goddamn thing to change it. There's some individuals who have been good. Kucinich and Cynthia McKinney and Ron Paul, Captor and a few others. But on the whole, we have an imperialist system with the largest corporation in the world, also known as the Pentagon, running the parent companies who control the media and the televised media monopoly will not allow anti-war candidates fair time in the parallel interviews they call debates and now none of the third parties or Ron Paul can get in the national debates. And so we got these two pricks going back and forth saying, you voted for pork on this bill. Well, you voted for pork on this bill. But someone like Ron Paul didn't vote for any of that shit. It's terrible. Now they have to debate about drilling in Alaska and little minor things like that. Nothing on monetary policy, foreign policy, ending torture. That's just, they skipped it. I can't believe it. And here's the Alaska issue in less than a minute. It's up to Alaska if they want to drill in Alaska or not. And even if we got a hold of that oil, so what? That is not going to patch up. Just It's a drop in the river. The reason oil prices are high isn't because we're running out of oil. It's because the dollar is being diminished because they're spending a trillion dollars a year on imperialism. We have a massive deficit. Oil is a foreign good. You have to buy it with dollars. And it's gone up. In gold, it's been flatlined. Gas prices have not gone up in gold. It's not because India and China are industrializing. That isn't it. Because in the price of gold, oil prices have remained the fucking same. They've only gone up in paper currencies because central banks pay for their imperialism with deficit spending. Get a fucking clue. I've been saying this. So many people have been saying this over and over again. And what we have to do, we have to protest the mass media. That's what we have to do. And the politicians, fuck it, is... They're worthless. We need to surround CNN and Fox those buildings. That's what has to come down because if the message could just get out just once on television, wake people up, it would be over. If all these rabid Obama supporters knew how he actually fucking voted and how he isn't different than McCain, they'd hate his guts the way they hate McCain. Well, what they've done is they hate Republicans. Obama's not a Republican, so they think he must be the opposite. But he's voted to fund the war, and it's a list of things. You name three things they voted differently on. You can't do it. When Obama even shows up to vote, it's bad. He votes for sanctions. He supported Israel's invasion of Lebanon. He financed Bush's wars. He never voted against any of that. The one thing he didn't do is he didn't vote for the original Iraq war, and that's because he wasn't a senator yet. That's it. The guy's worthless. McCain is worthless. Palin's a certified uh, creationist hockey mom retard. She's, I, she's, I can't believe she's, I don't know. Alaska had people like Mike Gravel and they get this woman that, you know, thinks dinosaurs were made 3,000 years ago. You know, magically out of nothing by an invisible man. And, uh, or force or whatever. And then Joe Biden, he's getting drunk on stage. He reminds me of Boris Yeltsin. I mean, I can't believe these are our choices. I didn't pick any of them. I didn't pick any of them. And I didn't just sit on my ass and let people pick them. I made videos and I wrote things. I protested. I talked to everyone I could. I wrote letters to my congressman. I, got, I visited my state legislator. I did all a person could do. But it doesn't matter. We're just, it's the inertia of the horde, and it's the lowest common denominator, and it's become bread and circuses already, and they just put in punchlines and one-liners to get those bottom feeders to vote for the simple-ass shit they can understand, and they just skip over the rest of us. I don't know what to do. I mean, buy some guns? Is that what, you know, that's not really realistic either. But, uh, it might be our option. We might have to do this John Wilkes Booth style.